Yeah. Here it is right here. Hey, what kind of junk do you have in your trunk? <laughs> <laughs> So. A dirty trunk. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> awesome getting the cash inside of an old wrecker. Sign her up. So we're at our target cash and we gotta go down there. That's not so bad. Come on. It said it's behind some rocks. Down there? Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. No. Nothing there. Oh, right here. No, it's not there. No, I don't see it there. Be here somewhere. <laughs> What's this rock looks suspicious? Let me try this one. Ah, found it. Oh, look at that. It's fluorescent tape. Kind of a dull, drizzly day, but we just had to get out. This is the first time that we've really kind of taken a distance to going caching. Just kind of target caching, you know, looking at some really cool places to go, like this one, this tunnel is just, it's just amazing. I saw a picture of it from friends of ours on Facebook, and it just looked really neat. I asked for the GC code. And this one was just replaced by the CO, it was missing, and uh, it's, it's not an oldie oldie, but I think it's 2007, um, and they gave permission for us to, to film this one here. It's just so nice to get out and do some caching, and hopefully uh, things will improve virus-wise, and we'll be able to get back to uh, caching with each other. It's a lovely day out and it's so nice to get out of the house for a little while. I've been finding there's fewer people at caches than there are out in the parks. Well, that was a really fun cache and it was great because most of the logs said that they got their feet wet. Well, it's perfectly dry, yeah. except it's raining here. No water in there at all. And we want to thank the CO for allowing us to use yeah, that. It's great. And, but we're not going to end our day there. We're going to find a few more caches to add to this fun day. And keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, we're not done yet. Keep watching. <laughs>
Okay, up we go. Whoa, as long as I don't slide down, we're all right. What's the terrain rating on this one? Should be a four, four and a half. And we need to go up again. Come on, Blake. This one is up on the roadbed for an old railway. Oh, on the side of an old railway, it's up on a telephone pole. Okay. We did one like this before from the same CO, except last time, Learclax got this yeah, one. This yeah, this time you get to go. And that was a, we had to get up the pole and down in a minute, but this isn't a one minute Wednesday, so I can take my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be here for hours. <laughs> okay. Go ready? for it, bud. At least it's not hanging by its neck. Uh-huh. A stranglesaurus. <laughs> okay. Here you sign us in. <laughs> okay. Have you hugged your pole today? <laughs> uh, it started to rain a little heavier now so i think we're pretty much done maybe one cache i don't know maybe a park and grab but on the way home we're going to stop at a brewery and get a drink yeah we're going to get some to go because right now that's pretty much all you can do we often see Rick and Lynn from Cash Walks taking a beer break when they're done their caching. Yeah, you don't see it much on uh, Cash Canada, but when we go caching, we like to stop at a brew pub mm -hmm. and pick up some uh, new kind of beer. And we're here at Bell City in Brantford, picking up a few bottles. Yep. Well, well, maybe a little more, uh, a few bottles of cans. And uh, we're gonna take it home and have a big sip right after caching. Keep watching, there's more brews to taste. Yep, and where will geocaching and brew pubbing take you?